Hi there! Time for three SAT practice questions with me, Anne-Marie. We are with the heart of algebra for the SAT, so let's dive in and see what's the first linear inequalities and systems of inequalities question I need to solve today. Uh, we are going to page 82, question number one. Here we go. Which of the following gives all values of B that satisfy the inequality above? So I basically just need to solve that inequality, so that's fine. Let me get my paper going here. Uh, one fifth times seven minus three B is greater than two. Um, so first thing, I wanna get rid of that one fifth, so I'm gonna <laughs> multiply everything by five because I could distribute it, but that's just gonna make more work for me later. So, seven minus three B is greater than 10, and then I subtract seven on both sides, giving me negative three B um, is greater than three, and then I need to divide by negative three, and B, now since I divided by a negative, I need to flip my inequality sign, so that becomes less than negative one, which is answer choice A. And I can see that answer choice B is totally there to trap me if I did not remember to flip my inequality sign. Thanks, SAT. All right, let's see. Um, question 84, no, page 84. Question number 12. Which value of M and which symbol, ooh, interesting, uh, result in the system of inequalities shown above as having no solution? Okay, so if there's no solution to a system of inequalities, then I need to have something that looks like this, basically where they never intersect and they're shaded in opposite directions. So I need equivalent slopes, which means M needs to be two, so that gets me down to just C and D, um, and I need them shaded in opposite directions. So this, the first one is two X minus three, so that's my Y intercept below and that one is shaded down, so that makes sense. Um, y is less than, and then this one is my y plus three, so this is y something, mx plus three. Now, I said I needed to shade that up, so I need a greater than symbol there, um, which is, Answer choice C. Perfect. All right, last one. Um, page 83 again, question number seven. Um, let me get myself a new sheet of paper in case I need more space. Sometimes these things take up a lot of room. Uh, which of the following best describes the solution set for the system of inequalities above? So solving for a set of inequalities, uh, and looking at my answer choices, I've got no solution, which is the situation I just saw, um, a single point, which I don't think I can even have with inequality, so no. Um, all real numbers, which would be if they were basically, no. Um, I was gonna say if they were the same line and they were shaded in the same direction, but then there would be a whole bunch of things that wouldn't be included, so I don't think that's possible either. Uh, the solution set, all points that lie between the boundary lines. That's possible. So either A or D, let's see what these guys look like once I put them in the same form. I'm gonna put the second one into my y equals mx plus b form, so 2x minus 3y is less than or equal to 12. So I subtract my 2x on both sides, 
get negative 3y is less than or equal to negative 2x plus 12. And then I divide everything by negative 3, uh, y, and then of course I have to switch my inequality sign and I get 2 thirds x minus 4. So I don't have the same line. Um, this one is going to be, ha they have the same slope, so they're going to be parallel to each other. And then this is negative 4 shaded, it's greater than, so it's going to go this way. And then the other one, there's my positive, and then it's less than, so it's going to go this way. And the solution set is this part in here in between the two lines, so that would be D. All right. Thanks for watching me. And if you have any questions, as always, leave them down below in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one, and I will see you on the next three SAT practice questions.